Bob Burnside. I'm uh, from Dexter, Michigan, near Ann Arbor. I own Fireside Home Construction, and I just want to talk a little bit today about what we've done here. This is our brand new model home that we built last year, and uh, we're very proud of it. Our, our goal is to build a house which is as absolutely green and energy efficient as we know how to do. We think we've done a great job, and uh, it's a house in the background which we're using for a model home in our offices. And uh, I want to show you some of the awards and recognitions that we've gotten for the house so you can understand what it really means to build a green house. As we uh, go to talk about the awards and recognition, I wanted to show you the front porch here. Uh, we do like the, uh, the way it's finished out. And uh, notice the sign on the front there, Burnside's Inn. Some people think it's a bed and breakfast, but actually that's a sign that's hung on my house since I was about 16 years old. My dad painted that, so it's kind of a heirloom we've carried along. Burnside's Inn, where no visitor remains a stranger. Well, welcome to our offices. Uh, it's kind of an interesting story. Some people ask me, uh, well, when did you start this green building? And it's like we just got on a bandwagon last year. And my response is we've been doing it 12 years ever since we ever started. It's just I didn't know it was called green when we started. So anyway, um, as an example of our uh, certification, this uh, particular recognition here is from the National Association of Home Builders. I'm one of the first ones in Michigan to receive this, and it's a certified green professional um, designation, which I'm very proud of, uh, which doesn't make us any better than anybody else, but it does show that we've done our homework and we understand truly what green building is. Uh, the one just below it momentarily is one also received from the National Association of Home Builders, the Certified Graduate Builder Recognition, which of course I'm very proud of. Now I'd like to show you some of the specific awards for this model home. Now I'd like to talk to you about some of the recognition and uh, awards we've got in the house that I mentioned outside. Well, the one on the top here is the LEED certification. We're very, very proud of that. Uh, LEED stands, stands for Leadership and Energy and Environmental Design. It's sponsored by the U.S. Green Building Council. And they've been certifying green commercial buildings for about 10 or 12 years. They just started doing residential homes like this one in the last year and a half. Now they have four levels of certification, a standard, a silver, a gold, and a platinum. The platinum is very, very difficult to achieve, and I'm happy to report that we did, in fact, get the platinum LEED certification for this home this year. And uh, we're very, very excited about that, and it really says that we've done our homework. And I'm going to walk you through the house and show you lots of different things, both outside and inside, that we've done to make it a green home, which, of course, includes things like energy efficiency, water conservation, utility and electric usage costs, and so forth the durability of the materials in the home in terms of construction and those kind of things. So I'll walk you through some of that here in a few minutes. I'd also like to point out this one down below. This is the Michigan Greenbelt certification that we got from the Michigan Greenbelt folks. It's their gold certification. Again, just further testament to how we've built the house. Oh, and I forgot to mention that this is the very first home certified in Michigan, only number 12 in all of North America. I'm going to walk you over here now. And uh, this wall is a wall of our last uh, three Showcase of Homes model homes that we built. And this particular one we're in right now is up here in the top. And um, it also is an Energy Star certified home. In the center here you can see this is the Energy Star certificate from the, um, Nash, excuse me, from the uh, Environmental Protection Agency and the Department of Energy. I'll also note the score in this is a, is a rating of 37, which is the very best rating that our energy rater has ever tested on a house. And when he did the air tightness of this house, it's the tightest house he's ever tested in terms of air leakage in and out, which is, of course, desirable. Um, and in this case, the lower the number on that score, the better. The minimum score to get an Energy Star certificate is um, 85. And uh, also, over here, uh, you'll see three in a row for all of our last model homes the last three years. These are Energy Value Housing Awards from the National Association of Home Builders. And this year we received their Gold Award. Out of all the entrants in the whole country, we were one of the seven Gold winners throughout the country for this home. So we're quite proud of that. And it just shows that we are doing the right things in terms of green building and energy efficiency. So let's move along now. We've moved outside today, and I wanted to show you briefly uh, what I affectionately call the barn. That's our construction headquarters. And, uh, it's an interesting building. It's made of insulated concrete forms in terms of the walls that are 14, 14 feet high. I'll show you more about that when we get inside the building, but that's a 2,400 square foot building and even in December and January with radiant heat in the floor and all the insulation and the ICF forms for the walls, it's costing $70 to $80 a month is all it costs to heat that building, so pretty cool stuff. Um, but I want to move over here to solar panels. If I can get Eric to pan over here, my cameraman, I'll show you the panel. 
Uh, right behind me is our solar panels that we've built to put on the, on the house for additional renewable energy generation. Uh, this happens to be two kilowatts. And for those who aren't techies, what that means is uh, it'll generate a little bit over 2,000 watts of power. Uh, that, another way to look at that would be that's like uh, 20 100 watt light bulbs at full power when the sun's out. It's a little gloomy today, so we're not getting a lot of generation. But on a bright day, that's what it would light up, be 20 100 watt light bulbs. Uh, we're using that to supplement the electric needs for the house. I'm also tied into the local power company grid so that when I generate more power than I need on site, it's actually selling that back to the utility company and getting a credit for that. So these panels come from Philips and uh, pretty cool stuff. Now in terms of green, we want to consider the outside environment and a couple things we're looking at if we can is getting close to public transportation, um, not disturbing the environment of the land, the topography any more than we have to. So we've tried not to disturb the natural landscaping. Took down only two or three modest sized trees to build this house and have replaced others to replace those that we did take down. Um, now if you notice in the background, uh, on the house, uh, one of the things that's natural in terms of materials is our siding. It comes from hardy plank. It's called hardy shingle siding. And uh, it's a natural, or it's a material which is man-made, but it has cement-like materials and wood fibers and things like that. So it's very durable in the long run from a green standpoint. Now the other thing is you'll notice if you look around as Eric pans over here, We've kind of carved out a cocoon in the natural landscaping here where the yard blends right into the natural foliage and growth of the surrounding property. So we made the yard as small as we could, but yet to have it nice for the home. And we also have an irrigation system in terms of the beds, which uh, you can't see it, but it's a drip irrigation system so that we don't have a lot of water spraying around and evaporating. So we're only using the water from a drip standpoint on the plants that we need. One other green building thing we have to be concerned with is the durability and the long-term uh, longevity of the home. And if you notice as Eric pans across, all of the fascia, the aluminum, or, or up around the fascia and the softened eave area is made of aluminum, so we don't have any long-term maintenance issues or painting required. We've also carefully flashed everything in terms of metal flashing around the windows and so forth so that we don't have water leaking into the house. And uh, all the caulking we used was a polyurethane caulk, which has a very, very long life. Um, so again, it's all part of being durable for the homeowner. Now in terms of water usage, this is not very exciting, this little sensor here, but this is a rain sensor. It's designed to pick up when we have rain and when we don't so that we don't have our irrigation come on when it's raining outside. So there again, it's just an issue of water conservation. I worked with our landscape architect, Peter Berg, here in the area, and we've chosen a lot of plants which are drought resistant, don't need an awful lot of water again for water conservation. You'll also notice the driveway. It's made of stone. There's no asphalt or pavement here or concrete. Uh, we've done that on purpose. So it's a pervious surface. So the water will drain in and, or soak in rather than drain off and cause irrigation problems or excuse me, uh, erosion problems. You'll notice the rest of the driveway on out to the street is the same way. And the uh, plantings towards the street are also minimal in terms of water usage needs. We've walked inside and I want to show you some of the features as far as green techniques and materials that we've used in here. As you can see, this is a timber frame home where our main structure of the home is made from solid oak timbers. We like to build timber homes. We've built traditional custom homes too without the timber, but uh, this one is our timber frame model home. You'll notice a few things in here. If you look at the floor, uh, we do have uh, natural hardwood floors, which is three quarter inch oak. And all of that was finished on site here, but finished with a water-based finish to minimize any volatile organic compounds. The same thing with the paint. All the paint on the walls in this home is from Sherwin-Williams. It's their Harmony line of paint, including the primer. It has no volatile organic compounds whatsoever, so it's very friendly to the user, so we're not sending off-gassing and things like that for the homeowner.